Yosemite is a beautiful place, worthy of a week of your time. Each year, hundreds of people tow their campers to get the most comfort out of their national park trips. So Nissan invited us out here to learn how to tow an Airstream on a closed course. All right, we're going to the Armada to do a maneuverability test. Uh, I'm in the group with everyone who hasn't towed before. I've seen a lot of people tow boats. Used to live in Michigan, used to go fishing a lot. Uh, but I saw that he's the guy in the passenger seat, so now I'm gonna be in the driver's seat. Let's see how that goes. Is it weird that I'm more nervous about this than the first time I drove on the track? Stay nice and close to that cone. Okay. And don't, don't think about where the trailer is. Only think about where your car is. I just got out of the Armada. We were doing a towing slalom course, which is right behind me. Basically what you do is just kind of ignore the fact that you're towing a trailer at all. Uh, just keep your eyes forward, don't look back, and we're going to try to get as close to the cones as possible. And it was relatively easy. I mean, I didn't really hit any cones. Uh, I just kind of had it in my mind that this is just a slalom test like any other slalom course I've ever been on, only I was going way slower than any other slalom course I've ever been on. And the trailer just kind of follows you as you go along. So instead of looking back, which will cause you to hit cones, just keep those eyes forward and look where you're going. So the second test is the turning test. So if I was to turn like I would a normal car, uh, I have something behind me, I'm gonna cut that corner a little too soon. So basically what you do is you go through a little bit further, cut the wheel a little bit harder than you would normally, and the trailer should just follow you, no problem. All right, here we go. Even though I finished the day only hitting one cone, a 30 foot long camper can be fairly difficult to tow and is more than most people need. So I checked out an option that was more my speed. I'm just outside Yosemite with Airstream's Gary Aiken. He's gonna walk us around this Base Camp X. Well, the Base Camp and the Base Camp X is designed for that weekend warrior, that outdoor adventurer. Somebody that's gonna go out, hunt, fish, a triathlete, something like that. So there's a number of things that are special to the Base Camp X that are different from the Base Camp itself. And that has to do with the three inch lift for superior ground clearance, a little more off-road, you know. Rock guards on the windows and up on the front part of the aluminum to protect it if you're going off-road or you're taking on rugged outing. And when you get to the inside, it's very convertible and has a lot of storage space. For example, you'll notice there's a rear door that goes along with the side entry door, but the rear door is really a luggage door. The idea is you can load things like your bikes or a kayak or surfboards when it's configured this way. But you can also configure this with one or two tables, and these tables also go down to a lower height, and these two sides make out into a bed. So a very convertible design, but still very compact. Also a wet bath and a fully functional galley with a sink, stove top, microwave, refrigerator. How heavy is uh, this particular model? Uh, 2585 empty okay. and about 3500 pounds gross. So you can carry about 900 pounds of uh, gear with you. And uh, what's the price on the Base Camp and then the Base Camp X? The Base Camp itself starts at 379 okay. and then the Base Camp X package that goes along with it is about a $2,000 premium over that. Okay. Welcome inside my custom Airstream. Stop. 
So we are outside of Yosemite National Park in Auto Camp, a park that has over 80 custom airstreams for you to sleep in. And I just wanna give you a quick tour. So as soon as you walk in, you can see we're in kind of like a living room area. You have a couch, it could be a pullout for someone to sleep on. You got your coat hooks here for you to hang up your gear. Moving along here, we have a little ottoman, nice for sitting around, got some Jiffy Pop to make popcorn outside by the fire. Little kitchen area. Cupboards here, dust pan, fire extinguisher, very important. Drawers with utensils. Sink works, Topo Chico. Got some more necessities up here. Uh, it's very important for me to state this up front. We are not camping, we are definitely glamping. If you think this is camping, you're wrong. If at any point, if you have like this shiny of copper cookware, you're you're done in camping. You're you're definitely glamping, which is fine. Sometimes you know treat yourself. Uh, so these cabinets over here got more utensils, got your plates, glasses, coffee mugs, cutting board, that sort of a thing. Moving over to this cabinet, you got your microwave and the ever important cast iron cookware, even complete with a lodge cast iron brush probably what I'm missing at home. I always hate cleaning my own. Ooh, a little dirty. Below, got a mini fridge. It's currently empty. I'm gonna rinse your hands real quick if you want. I'm gonna rinse my hands off after getting all the dirt on it from the cast iron. Before I make every single cabinet in here black with fingerprints. Come on, All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, so more storage. Got little TV stands here and a little closet for your clothes. I'm just gonna keep my clothes in my bag while I'm here. And then you have like heat, electrical, that sort of thing down there. Moving on through this door, next to the thermostat, we have the master bedroom. Really the only bedroom. Comes with a nice large bed. There's even a TV over in the corner here. It doesn't feel small on the inside. It feels like everything's been thought out very well. Um, the bed is, oh my gosh. I haven't sat on this yet. This is like memory foam. This is super nice. Uh, got some more storage here. Well thought out, doesn't get in your way. It's really nice. Uh, need to warm up at night? Got a wall heater right here. That way you're not freezing your butt off when it's cold out. The one place we haven't touched upon yet is the bathroom. And this is one of the more luxurious bathrooms in a camper I've ever seen. Uh, got the nice honeycomb tile down the bottom. Subway marble tile on the walls. Big shower. Look at how huge the shower is. I mean, I'm not very tall, so like, if I was like 6'4", I'd probably be having an issue, like the guy behind the camera, but he's shaking his head, so no, he's not having an issue either. And then you got your toilet and a huge sink. And we are in California, so you gotta conserve water. So yeah, uh, great location right outside of Yosemite National Park. Great hotel room. Um, and it, you know, you feel like you're one with nature without really having to be one with nature or carrying a backpack around. But it's really easy to get right into the mountains from Auto Camp at this location. So finally, outside. Nice little patio set and chairs where you can set that cast iron pot and little fire pit here. You can cook your food, sit down and have dinner, go to sleep. So if you're not a huge ultra light backpacker who likes to carry your tarp and everything with you and you're more of a city slicker but still want to get to Yosemite, Auto Camp is a great way to do it. You have all the amenities you're used to at home right out in nature.